Hey everybody, Steve-O here, and I wanted to show you how to add a drop shadow to your images using only CSS. So what I've done is I've already created a dummy post here, and what I want to do is add a little drop shadow to the bottom right edge of this because it's, it's a little dull, it doesn't stand out too much. So what I'm going to do is go to the post, I'm going to click on Edit Image, I'm going to go up to Advanced Settings, and I'm going to take a look at the size of my image. The next thing I'm going to do is go to this great nifty online tool. It's wordpress-themeshock.com forward slash CSS drop shadow. And I'll put a link in um, underneath the video so you can get to this site. And basically what it is going to allow me to do is to create the CSS to um, have a drop shadow on the image. So let's go back so I can remember. Um, the size is 259 by 194. So we go to 259 by 194. And the reality is it doesn't really matter um, what what the size of your image is. If you can't get it exactly to fit in here, this code will still work, and I'll show you how. Next thing I'm going to do is I want to pick my X drop shadow width, and you can see at the top here, as I drag the slider over, the shadow gets bigger or smaller or goes to the other side. So what I'm going to do is Let's pick, um, I'm going to pick 5, and I'm going to go down to the Y and pick 5 also. So now I've got my drop shadow, but it's a little strong, and what I like to do is soften that up a little bit. So I'm going to go to the Blur tool, and I'm going to um, bump that up to 12. That looks good. I like that. And you can also change the opacity, but it, as you can see, it's really hard to see. So if it's a little too dark for you, you can also change that. Um, but I'm happy with the way that is. And what I'm going to do is grab part of this code. Now, if you wanted to use this on all of your images, you could copy this whole code and put it in your style sheet and then use this class to identify this class box shadow and um, use that to add a drop shadow to all the images just by using uh, that class. But we're not going to do that, so if that didn't make any sense to you, we're still good, okay? What I'm going to do now is grab this, the bottom three lines of this code, and I'm going to copy that. And then I'm going to go back to my image, and where it says Styles, I'm going to paste that code right in there. And this might be different depending on the theme you use. Um, you might have to put it in the CSS class, so you'll have to try it out. Uh, but then the next thing I'm going to do is click Update. And you can see now my image has a drop shadow. So let's take a preview of that. And it looks pretty good. Stands out nicely. Um, I like it. So there you go. That is how you can add a drop shadow to your image using CSS. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.